guys and welcome back to another video and today uh, I'm gonna show you how to create a texture pack and first thing you gotta search for getpaint.net which is the software where you will make your textures and yeah it's it's free but don't get the paid one uh, just get this one download this one oh, no, no. it's gonna be in a zip file and then download exe and then boom and then the next thing you will need is uh, just make uh, just make a pack uh, just make a packs folder and then just make a folder whatever you want to name it and you want to get this jar file how to get it just type in the search bar run and do percent app data percent and go to dot minecraft go to the versions 1.8.9 and then just drag this to your uh, inside your pack folder and yeah basically now we just need to make a mc dot meta file this is a uh, field there you go uh, just do new text document name it pack just name it pack yeah just name it pack and just uh guys have to need this this code here so this will be in the link description I'll put it in the link description but basically uh, just name it whatever you want in this case I'm just gonna name it your name and then pack so whatever your I your IGN is in Minecraft and then boom and I'm just gonna save as and then just save it as in your pack folder in here all right and then do all files so that it has to be packed on mc meta make sure it's packed dot mc meta here if you come back to here there we go we have a mc meta file and basically uh don't touch with any of the codes just if you want to basically open it just edit and just turn it into a text dot uh, text file again and then you want to put the picture of your texture pack the size is 256 by 256 uh, and it has to be a PNG and the size is 256 by 256 and make sure it has to be 256 by 256 or else it won't work and it has to be a PNG file or else it won't work because Minecraft uses PNG files. And now you just have to, all you gotta do is basically just open this. Oh yeah, I forgot. <laughs> I forgot. You gotta open it. The if you guys don't have WinRAR or you have another thing, just open it with whatever you have. I have I use WinRAR, so you gotta open it with WinRAR. So you got all of this, and you're gonna be like, "Whoa, do I have to use all of those?" No, you really don't. Uh, uh, these two you don't need. Uh, see the ones up here. You don't need this, so just delete this. Delete files. You don't need any of those. Okay, it's deleting it. And you also don't need any of these, whatever, ZZS class, or just delete all of them. There you go. Delete. And make sure you leave the assets in. Just delete. Okay, just wait. There you go. You're left with the assets. And in this, in this part, basically you don't even need the 1.9 thing anymore. All you need is the assets now. There you go, just go here, go here, and just paste it here. Oh, and wait for it to paste, because it has a lot of items, of course. There you go, we have assets. This this is completely useless now. Just just delete it from your pack. 
Now we want to focus on the assets. So go to your uh, textures. Go to your textures, and I don't know. We're just gonna let's see what do you what it basically like like if you want to do okay we're just going to do a sword so we're just going to go to items and we have we have to find a sword any type of sword ha ah, we find a diamond sword here there you go it automatically opens at paint.net and then just full screen that so make sure you have paint.net okay we're just going to zoom in there you go we have the sword you can literally do any single uh, like anything but first I'm gonna show you the best settings make sure you see you see up this you see up here make sure it's disabled please disable I, I beg you guys disable this this is the worst thing that could happen to your life and make sure this isn't one so it's only one pixel it's better and now you want to edit it right so uh, there's a shortcut uh, E E the E just the E key is for erasing the B is for drawing so you can just E B so you don't have to click that click that again so it has a shortcut so E erase B not erase so in this case we're gonna erase some of the top parts here because I really don't know and can't really think of a cool design but I'll try I'm gonna make a sword sword I'm gonna make a default edit sword and that should be uh, that should be uh, that should be uh, short enough not too short not too tall either and then press your B as you can see and it depends what you want to, to color this with so I'm just gonna color it with like uh, this blue you know it's like a I'm just gonna color it with black because it's the closest and looks cool. There you go. You you have a sword sword. So I'm just gonna edit it with black so it will look cooler. Oh, and again, press E if you want to erase. Do not press right click. It will just make white. It will make it a white color. Boom, a boom, 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 boom. That should look cool. You want to change the designs. You want to add this to the side. You may you may do anything you want. E again, and then you may you literally may do anything you want. You want to make it cooler. You want to make it red. You want to make it uh, whatever you want. In this case, I'm just gonna do a default edit type of texture pack. If you don't know what a default edit is, basically you're just editing your texture pack, your default texture pack, and just making it look nicer. And this looks cool already. This this is actually cool. But the problem is I don't I don't really like these type of swords, so I'm gonna make uh, the type which I like, which is uh, hold on. Yeah. And then just color it with blue. So oh, it's very different. The color is very different. So uh, yeah the thing about this is that uh, the color is uh, quite different so that's why I prefer editing the colors so in default edit just like edit it it's not that hard you literally just have to erase some and let's just do this and just get the black okay I think this is yeah, there, there you go hold on like this and usually I do my designs like ki kind of like this yeah like that and then just fill that up with the closest like type of blue they have on stock uh, I'm just gonna try this one see that's that's close enough that that's close enough but usually I like this better uh, but in this case uh, we don't have the color for that we're just gonna do this we're just gonna do the other one just like this so this is a pretty good sword this is pretty much okay and now you just have to uh, save as and you want to save it it will already automatically be in the items and then you just save yes replace it and now it should be replaced as you can see boom it's it's replaced 
and if you want to do everything if you want to change every single every single thing yes that will take you a lot of time but if you really like doing it then oh, well just do it so yeah uh we're gonna go pack out uh, to make sure to check it actually saved here and i'm just gonna check uh and just go to the items find for the diamond sword there you go it did saved look it saved uh just check it again boom it saved very well so basically your texture pack is not ready it really depends if you're are you done with it or not so yeah w the picture in this case just make a 256 by 256 like i told you png png make the jp uh the g the jpeg file to be a pin png in this case we're just gonna search for minecraft texture pack pack pro file pick boom we're just gonna find a profile pick if that's possible i don't know if there's gonna be one uh will this banana work maybe it's 184 by 84 because I, I i don't know i really don't know where to find uh but yeah we're just gonna take my my from my other texture pack so uh go here and this is from my rainbow pack so i'm just gonna go uh, i'm just gonna go take this because I am. Um, I don't really have the time to make it because. Oh yeah, I suggest you making it with PixArt in your phone or in the computer, basically anywhere. And then paste. There you go. Your image is already here. There you go. PNG. It will come up like that basically. So your pack is done, but it's not completely done. Just basically select all of them by just doing this, and then just. Uh, just uh, just uh, you should have the add to archive if you are in winrar and in 7zip and other ones that i don't really know but yeah but i, I mostly i use winrar so add to archive and then yeah uh don't uh make sure it's zip if it, it don't press rar it won't work it has to be zip it has to be zip and then just press okay so the only thing we edited there is our sword so there you go we have the texture pack now just load up minecraft in this case i'm using batline client oh hold on oh there you go my batline client is open so we're just gonna go to the options resource packs and we're just gonna do the open resource pack folder so uh I'm just gonna minimize that make sure uh, to oof. get your texture pack paste it in here and then yt tutorial pack go back to minecraft just press on uh just press on the done and go back and there you go you have the uh, yt tutorial pack i'm just gonna f11 the minecraft you have your uh your name pack here in this case i'm just gonna deactivate this a yt tutorial pack dot zip and then just do done boom I go to a single player word just to check it out do a new world play selected world there you go you have your your diamond sword that is literally the diamond sword that i uh edited just now and basically just follow the steps and it, it will be really easy if you're working on a big texture pack then i suggest you to uh focus on it because it's actually a very fun thing and pack making is one of the best roles in minecraft to me i feel like pack making is a role in minecraft and yeah this is basically a default texture pack it's literally it's just a normal it's 
it's just a normal good old diamond sword but it's edited in your own uh, whatever you want it to be like or if you want to be a pack maker and you know releasing packs into the online world and yeah that look that, that just looks nice doesn't it? it it looks okay but yeah that's how to make a pvp texture pack and you can just experiment with everything edit everything and i hope you like the video and don't forget to subscribe please uh it would really help for you to subscribe and it would really help me out and yeah thank you for watching this and have a great day